Hi, Gary Chillingworth here for Air Gunner Magazine and Shooting and Country TV. Welcome to Life at the Range. Today, we're going to be looking at kneelers. Now, in a future video, we're going to be looking at standers, and then we're going to be looking at supported shots, supported kneelers and standers. But today, we're going to be focusing on the kneeling shot. Now, we predominantly do HFT on this channel, but we will show you a few little tips and tricks, obviously for the HFT shooter. Then we're going to show you a few things that will be good for a hunter, and we may even look at some field target. Ooh, what was that? Field target. Hunter field target. FT. Mm, very strange. Obviously, the wolves are not a big fan of field target shooting. So, we're going to be looking at beanbags. We're going to be looking at kneeling rolls. We're going to be looking at the legalities. And hopefully, we're going to be able to get you shooting your kneeling shots and never miss again. Unlike me, who actually seems to miss quite a few. But ignore that. Remember, do as I say, not as I do. Welcome to Life at the Range. Alignment. If you're going to take one thing away from today's video, alignment should be it. What I see so many people do is they go up to the peg, they make themselves comfortable, and then they look at the target. Well, the issue with that is if you're not aligned to the target, you're going to be using muscles to try and force your way onto the target. And that's not what you want to do. So to give you an example, We've got a target 30 yards down range. So I come up and I know that the rifle is going to be across my body when I'm on a kneeling shot. So stand in line with the target, bring the rifle up, have a quick look. So we now know that we're in line with the target. If we're going to use a kneeling cushion, put the kneeling cushion down. And now we sit down and get ourselves in position. So we've come straight down. Leg is out in front. We now bring the rifle up. And as I bring this rifle to my eye, we're exactly in line with the target. Okay, so often when you see people shoot, you will often see them with their elbows high up. The gun will be in there and they'll be locked in. But as you can see, there is a lot of movement within this rifle. Now this particular type of hold is very well worth practicing because there will be times when you're gonna be shooting a target high up in a tree. But if you're shooting one on the ground or even just slightly elevated, what you want to do is you actually want to have your elbow along your, along your leg. You then place the rifle in your hand, lock it round, and you're lovely and stable. You can't have your wrist back behind the knee. It's got to be able to drop down so that we have a physical gap between the palm of your hand and the knee. So arm along the trouser leg, along the top of the thigh, drop down with a gap, and then you can lock in. Just like that. And if you want to adjust the height of your target, just put your foot out further or draw it back, and that will adjust the height of the rifle. Now, you might see me struggling a bit because I'm actually waiting for surgery on my knee. So I need to stand up now and we'll go on to the next bit. Ow! The rules of HFT states that there has to be three points of contact when you're doing a kneeling shot. Obviously, that's the front foot. Then you've got the knee. And then you've got the rear foot. But what you're also allowed to do is a sh shot called laces down and that is where you place your foot 
flat to the ground and you kneel on it and as you can see my leg here is completely flat now luckily many years ago I used to do martial arts for a hobby as you can see here yes I used to jump around in pajamas and go wah this is perfectly legal and incredibly stable but not everyone can do it because you do need a certain amount of flexibility but it's well worth practicing and if you've got that level of flexibility it will give you greater stability than using a beanbag Okay, the most popular form of taking an English shot is using a beanbag. The shooter will place the beanbag on the ground, place their knee in the middle of the beanbag, still sit back on their foot, take their aim and fire. You can modify this though. Some shooters, I'll put the rifle down, some shooters, what they like to do is they like to have the beanbag all the way back and with their knee on the ground and just using the beanbag to support their shin. But essentially the beanbag becomes the ground when you're using it. So you've still got your three points of contact. Some shooters have it a little bit forward and actually have a floating knee at the front. That's also perfectly legal. Some shooters like to push the bean bags all the way down at the front and then when they take their shot it's giving them a little bit of support on the back although if they're now leaning back and they're actually almost sitting on the bean bag that's classed as a sitting shot not allowed what some shooters have done in the past is they have squashed down on the right hand side and then they have used the beanbag to essentially support on the inside now that again is an illegal shot not allowed now what has become more popular over the years and what you actually use in field target and what you actually use in the other sport is this it's called a kneeling roll now this one's from sure shot a, a truly great comfort company um if you want mats bags things like this go check them out they're, they're nice people um and what this does is that essentially is just to give you that extra bit of stability on your shin so you can use a beanbag you can use a kneeling roll um don't fill them up to their capacity it depends on how big your feet are if you've got smaller feet put less uh, beans in it so what you want to do is get yourself comfortable now this is the thing with kneeling shots it's all about being comfortable if you're fighting your body when you're in your kneeling position and your legs are straining and you know your body's shaking and you just can't get comfortable you're never going to hit anything so it's about finding your comfort zone and if you find a way to, to, to kneel comfortably, you'll knock down a lot more targets. So adjust the amount of beans in your beanbag. Um, try different ways, laces down, support your shin, support your knee. Do whatever you want to do, as long as it's within the, within the rules, but get comfortable. One of the most important things about kneeling shots is the rear foot. The rear foot, as you can see here, must be vertical, straight up. Now, luckily I have a fairly corpulent backside and it fits in absolutely lovely. Then you've got the laces down. As you can see, it's flat to the floor, but it's still sort of vertical slash horizontal. What you can't do is a turned foot, as you see here, that's now classed as a sitting shot. So essentially, rear foot, heel up the crevice, and you're good to go.
Okay, another really important thing to do with kneelers, believe it or not, are boots. Now, as you can see here, I've got my old uh, Prologics on today. Um, I usually wear Jack Pikes, um, but I've got these on today. Um, still a nice boot. Now, these are what you call a full height boot. And it's amazing the stability of a well laced up boot can give you when you're in a kneeling shot. I cannot shoot with any sort of consistency with trainers on. I even struggle with like the half height boots. It might be because of weak ankles or over flexibility of ankles, but I need that extra bit of rigidity that you get from a full height boot. Now, if you've got boots at home, try different footwear for HFT. Go outside, put some trainers on, put some half height boots on, put some full length boots on and see which gives you that comfort and that stability. And again, it's back to comfort. You want the ability to sit there for 30, 40 seconds and not be in pain. Now, for you younger ones, you won't know what knee pain and joint pain is, but trust me, you'll get there. But for us older fogies, I'll take every bit of help I can get, whether that be a knee brace, you know, a flex one, which I usually wear when I shoot, a good pair of boots, um, I'll take anything that will help me shoot better. So try different types of boots and see what one makes you feel comfortable. Now, a final thing that we want to go through is, believe it or not, sometimes if you've got a slightly, I don't know, chubbier face or even a regular face, kneeling shots will not be the same as a prone shot. If you're laying down, your head is on a certain angle. My one's always a little bit twisted. But if you're sitting more upright in a prone shot, your face has a tendency to be more upright. And that means that the way your cheekbone or your cheek weld interacts with your cheek riser and your scope could be slightly different. Now, I did a test with paper, and I'm a great fan of shooting paper. I shot paper after paper after paper, and all it was was a blank piece of A4 with a straight line in Sharpie down the middle and across. And I worked out that at 35 yards, all of my pellets when I was kneeling favoured the left-hand side. Don't know why. I think it's because of the way my face interacts with the scope. But everything went left. So now, whenever I shoot a kneeling shot, or a standing shot, or a supported shot, I always just aim right side of the target. And since doing that, I've knocked down considerably more than I used to. So I would strongly recommend take a half hour to an hour on the range, put out a bit of paper, and see if you shoot straight to the right or to the left. And I'll bet you, you'll be surprised at the result. Now, for all of you hunters who may want to go out with a bean bag, this can give you a certain amount of stability if you want to do a free kneeler. As we already showed earlier, what you can do is you can flatten down one side, kneel down, and you're essentially sitting on a nice stable area. You can bring your hand back right over the top of the knee, so the weight of the rifle is going through your hands, through your knee, straight into the ground. So you're not using any muscles whatsoever. There was also one chap who shot in HFT, and this got banned. And what he did is he used to put the rifle inside of his jacket, lock his jacket up, lock it in place, and again gave him stability, because that's almost under the armpit. So if you're a hunter, Use the beanbag. Do whatever you want to do to get that stability. Because with hunting, you can't afford to miss. Okay, so field target. They are slightly different to the way we are in HFT. Number one, you're not allowed to use a cushion. Well, unless you're sitting on it. If you want to kneel, well, you have to kneel, apologies, you have to use 
a kneeling roll. So we'll get rid of that. So you sit down on your kneeling roll, and the main difference is with the fill target, as I understand it, and if I'm wrong, please put it in the comments below, they don't have to have their hand forward of the knee. They can have it back, but they're still not allowed to have it flat down. It's got to be up and supporting the rifle. Um, so I'm going to stand up because I really am struggling with my knees now. Ow! <laughs> so, as I understand the rule, if you want to do field target, you have to use a kneeling roll. And the hand has to be, it can be forward of the knee, it can be back of the knee, but you can't rest the back of your hand on your leg. It's got to be up and supporting the rifle. Um, that's about it for field target. I'm not really going to go into it massively because I'm not a field target shooter, but we are going to do a field target video, but I'm going to get some help to do that. Well, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope that a few of the things we've gone through will enable you to go out and improve your kneelers. Um, it's not the be all and end all. Uh, I could be here for, for hours, but I wanted just to give you a few insights in, uh, that will help you improve your shooting. Um, I apologize. I did struggle a bit today. I'm waiting for surgery because I've, I've torn a meniscus in my knee, but I wanted to get this video done. Um, please come and join us on our Facebook page, uh, Life at the Range on Facebook. Drop me an email at lifeattherange at gmail.com or visit our website, www.lifeattherange.com. Please like, share and subscribe with Shooting and Country TV. They very kindly allow me to do this every couple of weeks. And from the feedback I've been getting, some of you have been finding it really helpful. And I love your feedback. And please send me those emails and those ideas. Um, we've got a great idea coming up in a couple of weeks. We've got a challenge episode. Um, Nikki at Custom Targets has sent me some brilliant stuff to play with. So we're going to be doing a challenge video and to see how bad I really shoot. Um, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again very, very soon. If there's anything I've missed, please put it in the comments below. And it's just not for the algorithm because then other people can learn from my incompetence. And a couple of times I've read through the comments and I've actually learned stuff that I didn't know. So please, you help me improve my shooting. Um, I'd really appreciate it. We'll see you again in two weeks time for a challenge video. Take care. Shoot safe. Thank you from Life at a Range. Ta-da.